All right, everyone, welcome back to another Replay Roundtable, courtesy of Attack Motorsports International Sim Racing Team. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, another race from Rio. Uh, we had one earlier this week. Uh, this one is a C race from Spa. It's the grade, uh, group, uh, group 1, Grade 1, whatever the hell you want to call it, cars. And he is driving the Audi R18 2011, uh, yeah. whatever the hell you want to call yeah. it. Anyway, uh, today's video is sponsored by the Booga Box. It is, he is a custom handmade chainmail creations, decorations, uh, wall clocks. He does laser etching on some items, uh, lamps, dog tags, all kinds of different stuff. It's very, very cool stuff. So if you would go check that out, we would appreciate it. And so would he. And we are also brought to you by HardRockDaddy.com. This is a music-centered website run by a buddy of mine named Adam. And he does a lot of articles, uh, various top 10, top 20 countdowns during every week. So every week there's something different. He just recently released the top 100 hard rock songs from 2020. So if you would go check that out, that would be much appreciated. It's very cool stuff. Uh, the music today is supplied by Heaven's Guard. They are a symphonic metal band out of Germany. Uh, I got to talking to one of them, uh, Steven, the guitar player. And this is very, very cool music. They are doing a Indiegogo campaign to ga ga gather money, sorry, for their first uh, album. So if you guys would like to go check that out, maybe give, maybe toss them a couple of bucks here and there. That would be awesome. Uh, they definitely deserve it. The music is really cool. And Stephen was kind enough to give me permission to use it in our videos. So yeah, on that note, uh, joining me, we have Bagger J. Hey, hey. hey. We've got Gear. Hello. We've got Axe. Why, hello. We have Tony. Hey, 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 ladies. Call Bagger J. Hey, hey, call me. Oh, sure. Yeah. It's not bad enough that he does it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we have my normal partner in crime every week when we got Andy with me. Hello, YouTube land. I am Nightmare, right. so let's get this show on the road, guys. Uh, on the count of three, one, two, three, go. Axe's entry uh, was creepy. <laughs> Apparently, somebody <laughs> dropped out of the race already because Leo was starting. Or, <laughs> nope, yeah, he is starting 13th. My bad. Hey, you survived, right, Bagger? You'll be right. Yep. Hey, did you, uh, we didn't announce gear. Gear Yes, here. I did. Well, oh. Yeah, you did. What'd you say, gear? <laughs> It's Try to keep up, Bagger. Hey, Tiger Lily, don't talk to me like that. I'll talk no, to you any way I want. Bagger I'm a president of the rodeo. <laughs> I'm just messing. Yeah, I didn't remember <laughs> gear, I guess. Yeah, it must have been I high. try to I try to behave myself because I know this is live, right? Yeah, yeah it is you live. <laughs> it yeah, is live, at, and uh, I have yet to figure out how to edit out vocals on some parts <laughs> as much as I would yeah. like to. Oh, no, look, we got somebody over there Boogie's, chasing bunnies. Uh, Looking at Boogie's site, and he does chainmail minions. Yeah. Uh, nice. Nice. We don't really announce that too much because of the copyright issues, but yeah, he does. He does all kinds of different stuff with that man. He can do. The, the man is amazing. He can put together just about anything you can come up with. He could put together as far as a design with a chainmail. Wow. He's yeah, he's I currently working on. Uh, he's currently working on programming the laser. To do designs with our logo on them for uh, tumblers, dog tags, uh, pro um, possibly keychains, stuff like that. So yeah, we may have some merch here available shortly. Sweet, oh, that's yeah. why you asked about tumblers the other day. That makes oh, sense. Oh wow! What uh, what is the tire com compound in this race? Hard. Right. right now he's on hards. Yeah, uh, I know he's on hards. hards. Yeah, hard tires hard is the only one. Yeah, hard tires okay. only in this race. It's okay, it's a no stop. It's a no stop on hards. Nice. Except you would watch people do stops, which always kind of confused me. Yeah. yeah same, but yeah. <laughs> well, some guys are just looking for that grip advantage, you know. So I, I've done that the occasionally. Time you lose though, it's not it's not worth it. The right. Time you it, lose it, in the pits. Yeah, it entirely depends on the track you're on, uh, oh, as far as yeah. whether the pit stop winds up being squirrels. worth it. <laughs> Hell, I learned. Uh, Bagger on this track. Ooh, last look night at number eight just wiped out. Now I'm down to ten. On this one. What's yeah. that act? So I taught 
bagger a little trick about the TSL yep. 50 on this track. You can run fifth gear at this fuel setting all the way down the Kemmel straight and never, never um, have to shift it's, up and you and don't even burn in a lot of fuel. You know, I noticed when faster. you were, I, I noticed when we were doing your replay that you were running fifth gear and I'm like, what, why? And then I realized yep. you're doing a, yeah, you know, a, good, too, but, a yeah. good bit faster. Yeah, yeah it's the, fir the first time I ran it, I shifted up to uh, sixth. And then when I got halfway through the race, I was still like three quarters of the way, f the way through the fuel. I was like, what the hell? So Number I nine just... was bouncing off your car quite a bit. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And then uh, once I figured that out, I was just, I don't think I did six the rest, the rest of the time I was running this race. Yeah, I mean, if it burns more fuel and doesn't slow you down, hell, I wouldn't either. Right. I mean, look at him. He's going... He just got passed again, but... Oh. Well, well Leo bit. made up a couple spots already. Yeah, he has. Leo's See, him and that guy, too. Usually, Leo don't get involved like that, but he seems like he might be frustrated with that guy. Miller. Well, I wouldn't blame him. I mean, the guy well, kind of pushed I, him out of the way going in. Yeah. Yeah, he I started, don't think a, Leo, he started I don't way think, before Leo. Leo. Yeah, I don't think Leo actually meant to hit him because he was on the brake so hard that the car actually got loose. No, yeah, he slid into Leo. Yeah, that guy came down on him. Oh, man. So, yeah, I mean, he's making ground here. Yep. Surprising. I didn't think that old 11 would, would have it. I mean, it's an 800 horsepower car, but there's no hybrid getting it out of the corner. Oh, yeah, so, like I, mean, I said, my first... My first time I ran this one, I ran it in the old Mazda 787. Oh and, man, that thing uh, would have nothing for acceleration on the on the hybrids. Right, it, it it didn't, but when you're top of 220 going down the straight, you know, well, it yeah, there makes is that. Up for it. I'm looking at the speeds here right now, and I mean. At the breaking point, he just now hit 197. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that that's that's hoofing it right there. Mm -hmm. The problem with that 787 is, yeah, it'll hit that 200 miles an hour plus, but there's not that many places on this track that are long enough for it to stretch out like that. Well, see. Th the secret, the secret to that Mazda is that uh, third, fourth gear, they are like non-existent. I mean, it it, got, it climbs through those gears so quick. Yeah. And it's only a five-speed, so you're back, you're in top gear in no time. That's the only that's the only reason why you can keep up with these newer cars. Man, you got guys driving off the Back track all over the place. Got a, got a good run out of that corner. Yeah, he did. Now, see, I think, isn't that, yeah, I think that's the new R18 right there. But he just would just move out like he was just waiting for the bus or something. Well, he was coming up on the bus stop. Yeah, I was going to say that. Did you notice a save halfway through that corner? Yeah. Yeah, he, he did a nice little slide in. But see, he? that's right yeah. here is where that R18 gets him back is because of the uh, the hybrid, the, the acceleration. Yeah, but at the top of the hill, he's going to lose it because that's a, that's a second penalty. He's well, carrying. yeah. Yes, that is the second one, yep. No, I haven't driven it much, but I think the old R18 is just all motor. It is. Yeah, and there's no hybrid system on it. You can see where it really kicks in right there about halfway down that straight. He slid that baby in right there. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> He's drifting nice. these turns, that nice. man. I mean, that nice. that, that, that's... Yeah, that's what gets me about some of the top guys, man. I see, you know, normally the idea is that you, uh, if you're sliding, you're scrub scrubbing speed. But 
I watch the replays of some of the top guys on some of these tracks, and they're sliding halfway through the damn corner and still holding up speed, and I just can't figure out how to, you know, I can't manage that. He, he started into a slide there, and uh, anyway, he, he caught it just right. See, I, I don't I don't believe in drifting. Uh, and I don't think it was a purposely done drift. It just no, the way no. No, he might have been a little hot going in or something like that. I, I'm a I'm definitely a grip racer. Yeah, me too. That's why I like the poor C so much. Grips all over the place. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with that guy, but he looked like he was a glitching or something. Hell yeah, there was a little bit of lag going on there. He's I'll running some really clean lines, though. Yeah, Leo's got this car. He, he's running it pretty damn good. I do wish they would show the intervals on these replays. Yeah, um, yeah, I do too. But the only way, the only way to, to get tell. him. Though, well, it looks like he's closing. The only way to get him though is yeah, to well, record yeah. the race live, and then there's just um, I, I have yet to figure out a way for people to actually get me the replays. Uh, so this is about the only way we've got to do it right now. Unless they come up we with a way to... We have to get software that can allow us to live stream to YouTube or something and share it that way. That'd be the yeah. only way to do it. The bad thing about YouTube, though, is if you do a live stream, that becomes pretty much the only video that they promote. And uh, it, it, it detracts from everything else you put up on the site. So I, I kind of... That's one of the reasons that I personally don't do many live streams. Other than the fact that nobody really wants to see me driving around, getting myself uh, in all kinds of trouble, and hear me cussing at uh, idiot drivers and stuff like that, so. Right. Well, that guy up there in fifth place, he wound up going way, way, way off. Out there. Tony, what what's what's your favorite grade one car to play with? I have to say the Hyundai. Because the Hyundai was holding up pretty well in, on, on some of the tracks against the TSO fifty. But the TSO fifty has uh, a better gas mileage. But Again, for just all around driving, it would be the LM55. Right, yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, I think uh I think the LM55 is a is a really good drive too. I tell you yeah, what, the one that Leo's, the one that uh, was putting out a pretty good show here though. The one that uh, actually uh, handles surprisingly well is that uh is that Alpine. Alpine, whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, the Alpine. Oh, yeah. yeah, it should be Alpine. Yeah. Well, you would think it'd be Alpine, but it's French, so it's Alpine, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Ooh, bogey going a little wide there. Well, it's got tightened up here real quick. Yeah, it's it? a bit of a dogfight right here. Oh, bogey takes a left. Yeah, that. Yeah, that one car <laughs> ended up hitting me. Uh, the guy uh, in eighth place wound up there. looping it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One guy I back that that side. He that was going to the ballet. <laughs> yeah, a couple crazy. of pirouettes and uh <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, I tell yeah. you what, man, that's uh, that's for all that havoc that was going on right there. Leo held his cool and just got through all of it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I think it was that uh the Italian behind him that hit the uh little green um yeah. dildos on the side of the track. <laughs> Bollards. <laughs> What? They're called. They're not I called. Agree with Tell him for <laughs> what it is, Tell him for well, what those, it is. Uh, those dildos I think, I think he said something like good. the Martian dildos. Uh, yeah, the oh, yeah. Oh my dildos. God. <laughs> Green dildos. All right. More editing out. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm sorry, everybody. I must make a disclaimer. We are not family friendly. 
No, yeah. no, I, I am not your. But we boy. are women friendly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You like you like green dildos? It's good. What? No one will say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Last Holy week, please, did we go please, there? Really? Please don't answer you, that. Really? Last week, last week, week it was. Last week it was Kazakhstan. This week we're talking about green yogo. Jesus Christ. Martian jail. Yeah. Well, we I went like, there, uh, well, the yeah, alien was like and he could claim them. Yeah. Ooh, a little Tricky. hot going into that corner. Yeah. Sticky is sweet. No harm, no foul. Oh. I tell you what, man. Leo started 13th. He's up to six, man. He is charging. Yeah, yeah he's he's climbing through there. Pretty cool how he was able to use uh, the red number plate to uh, work with his uh, maple leaves, uh, or the yeah Canadian maple leaf. That's pretty cool. Good idea. A little hot going in there, dirty air right there. Oh, 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 a bunny hop. Oh. Hmm. That costed him. Yeah, uh, he was up there and uh, high enough. Leo could have drove under his car. I know, right? That 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 stuff cracks me up, man. Cause uh, on my account, when I race on my European account, oh, oh. Got a little loose going in there. Yeah, he kind of deserved that penalty, I think. I don't know. Actually, I think that one could have went either way. Yeah, it could have. Yeah, because he. I, I don't know that one. That one was kind of deserved. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bitch too much about the penalty system on that one. No. He was but down I, on the. It could have went either way. Yeah, he was down on the inside of that he, corner he, and just kind of. He kinda, went aggressive. He went yeah. aggressive into that turn, but. I don't see how he hit the car because I was watching, but I didn't see contact. Oh, there was contact. But what else uh, was he supposed to do on the, on, the, on the closing rate he had on that guy? Right. Right, true. What was he supposed to do? Step on the brake? I don't think so. Right, no. He ain't gonna. He, uh... What? And he caught right back up. Oh, yeah. He didn't lose, didn't lose a whole lot of time. I mean, got back behind these two. Who were fighting? That's not a bad spot to be, though, man. He's up. He's up at the top. What lap is he on? Uh, eight. Uh, eight. Okay. Yeah, he's got. He's got time. He's in a good spot right now. For yeah, where he, he started, he's got. I'm, not, I, I'm pretty sure he can pick these these two off up here because they, they won't driving like an idiot anyway. I'm impressed to see how this Audi's handling. I know, right? Yeah, oh, it's holding its own in the race. I didn't. I never even tried it. I tried a few different things. I put some laps in it. Oh, oh look at that! Bagger was right again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, look at it. That Italian was doing everything he could do to block him. Yeah, he already learned once. Couple of uh, nice little yeah, dog fights nice those had. He actually learned by that last mistake. He left it a little bit. Yeah. When he caught the guy. It's so hard whenever you're following someone to, to judge your breaking point because you never know right. where they're going to do yeah. it. Yep. Yeah. And if it's one of those shysty bastards, they'll, they'll break just enough to where you punch them off the track yep. by complete accident and pick up the penalty. Yeah. That happened yeah, to some me guys, whenever Some guys have made, an the, art, have made an art out of taking advantage of the system. Yeah. That happened to me whenever they had the group ones at Alsace for the daily race. Yeah. Someone did that to me and I, and the guy didn't even leave the track. He went straight forward and I still got a second and a half for knocking him oh, off the track. Wow. 
Oh yeah, that that sent me in a rage. It's that force that caused me to uh, do something I hadn't done in a very long time. And I, was, <laughs> I just rage quit. I was like, I'm done with this. <laughs> There's no way. I, yeah. If I would have caught up to him, I would have put him in the wall just on principle yeah. at that point. <laughs> just, just, that just, bad. To, just to deserve Everybody's the penalty got that you got. That point there, Axe. Uh -huh, Everybody's got that line, right? Yep. And I and because you know it's, I've only got the one account. I don't want to. I try not to use that one. And do too much stupid stuff on it. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. yeah. We do frown upon rage quitting. So. I know that, but well, that's the only time I've done it. Well, we do frown I upon rage quitting, game. but we also we also frown upon flat out punting somebody. So I mean, that's right. kind of. I think yeah. that's what Axe was, was talking to. about: yeah. punting somebody and getting you know demoted yeah. for a while. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah. I was so I was so irritated by that that I was gonna put him in the wall and wasn't trying to do oh, all look that. At that. They could just crowd him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a nice move. Really nice move. That was a nice move, though. Yeah. Yeah, even with the guy trying to trying to yeah. rub him down. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, somebody's got to run in. You're gonna make a pass. Let him go. Yeah, I, I, I totally expected him to try to do some kind of dive bomb there. Look at that acceleration of that car, though. Yeah, yeah. that's the downfall, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but going right here, he's going to have no hybrid at all. Yeah, I but at the top of the hill, it. he'll catch him. Oh, yeah. Because once that hybrid yeah, puts watching, on an 18, it just turns into a It's just straight up here, watching pull on him. That, uh, oh, yeah. that Porsche is the same way, man. It's fast as hell when it's got the hybrid, but it just falls on its face when it runs out. Yeah. Ooh, nice Bad defensive move there. down this straight, he ain't got nothing. That was pretty good defense by that guy. Oh! Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be a half second. Kept the tire. He might have kept the tire yeah. in. Oh. Nope. So I, thought was, was, I thought he might have got minutes, away uh, with that one. Yeah, he got away with it. Uh, those curbs are no uh, no joke to play with, though. That's not something you want to play with. It doesn't usually work out like that. Nope. So, yeah, he'll end up losing sixth on the, on the line. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. He sure, he sure gave that uh, Audi a run. That's for sure. You're, yeah, he you're did. right, he did. He's got that. He's got that Audi breathing heavy. Mm -hmm. He's oh, pretty oh, much got it used up here, I think. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's running that thing for all it's worth, boy. That's for sure. He's got that Italian one, so much. He's about to go for a cappuccino. Cap on seventh, where he can hold on to the. It looks like he's. Spot. It looks like that guy's about a, half, a second and a half, two seconds back. So. It'll be close. It'll, de it'll depend on the uh, bus stop. Yeah, that's yeah it depends on how good he gets through here. When uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Senior finally won the Daytona 500, he went out to the infield after he went down pit road and done a. Oh, spit yeah, out in the it. grass. Yep. And he said he did that to get the goodness what was left in the car. <laughs> All right. Well, that, was good, he, that was pretty he impressive. Got, uh, he held on to that six, was fun man. to see what the yeah, yeah, yeah the old uh, eleven or eighteen can do. Yeah. yeah, that's a very good example yeah. of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna actually uh, do that later after after the endurance race and all that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just uh, waiting for the race to change over. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to just time trial it just to see how, how it runs because I haven't tried it. All right, guys. So that is going to be it for this edition of the Replay Roundtable. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Right, good night, good night everybody. Uh, yeah. All right, good everyone. Good night, YouTube, Land. Until ladies, next time, everybody. Bagger. This is Nightmare. Yep. Ladies, don't forget Peace. Bagger.